Hello, I just thought I would show you uh, the progress I've been making on this game. So it's the same game that I showed you before in terms of what you can do, but it's got a couple new features and some new animations. So all the air is coming from this starting tile, which means that we're going to run out. As you can see, we're down to 20% oxygen. It's rising again, but we're probably going to faint before it gets back to high enough to give us our, our health. Yeah, there, we're down. But we'll recover shortly. Um, the reason we're moving is because the air is pushing us. Uh, it exerts pressure. Uh, and I'm using fraps today so that I can get myself some uh, some good footage here rather than having the 2 gigabyte crap out limit. So I'm going to show you a, a, a solid tour of everything we're doing here. So the first thing we're doing is we have this new inventory system which is a lot better than the old one. Um, so let's say we wanted to build a door. We just click on door and we would just build one. And we can build any size door you want, big or small. Let's, let's put a little door here, see? Uh, now, as before, you can open the doors like so. Now, doors don't require power to operate, um, but there are some devices that do. For example, these, uh, these vents. These vents don't put out any air unless they are active. So, in order to activate them, let's go into the wiring mode. And let's click it, and the only place we have that can provide us with power is our starting tile. We don't have any generators built. And let's go ahead and hook up the door, too. Otherwise, the door wouldn't be able to accept programming, although we could open it manually. So there, now we both have, we have it both set up, and now this is actually producing air. And I can show that to you. Go back into build mode. And uh, if we were to block this off with walls, like... Ooh, that was a, it's a big wall. I didn't really mean to use a big one, but that's okay. Um, let me take it there we are. If we block it off like this, now there's no airflow between us. So let's go ahead and put a door here. And you can see that the air is coming from that place rather than from over there. Uh, let's go ahead and block that off again before we faint. And you can see that it's still just producing air and slowly filling us back up. It's not as good as the starting base one, but uh, that's because it's not supposed to be. Uh, now you notice that the door is not airtight. Uh, for that we would need a bulkhead. So here's a bulkhead. Let's go ahead and show you that it's airtight by removing these walls. And there's no air escaping out through the bulkhead. Um, we're actually unconscious at the moment. A small bug where we're shown standing. Um, so the bulkheads cannot be opened by hand. So unlike the door, we can't open the bulkhead. So how do we deal with that? Well, let's go ahead and put a door here. And this door opens and closes just fine. Let's go back into wiring mode. And uh, uh, they still have an errant wiring, that's okay. Drag this here, and drag this here. Now everything is powered correctly. We'll go into programming mode, and we'll connect the bulkhead to the door. We'll go back into build mode just so we can see it nicer. And we open the door, it all op it opens the bulkhead as well. So let's go ahead and say, well, that's not really what we want. So let's go over to the door and lock it. So now we can open the door, we can trigger the door, to, but we should open the bulkhead, but the door itself does not open. So how's that for, uh, for some crazy logic that we can do? Oh, and unfortunately, since we're unconscious, there's no way for us to close that door. I guess we'll just block it off. <laughs> so as you can see, the game is progressing pretty well. It's, uh, it's becoming interesting. Um, and uh, that's really what I always aim for my games to be. Uh, I'm adding in some uh, serious crafting tools, uh, but they're not ready yet. Um, so they will be ready shortly. <laughs> oh, I've got a hole in my wall. Let's uh, fix that there. Oh, I see. I've got a collapse because of the weight of those. There we are. Oh, no, I've trapped myself. That's okay. We're durable. Unfortunately, we now have no air, so it'll be quite some time before we get up again. So instead of waiting for me to get up again, I'll just uh, conclude here and say this is going to be a very crafting-heavy game where the whole point of the game is to have um, characters in your base. You have NPCs with you, uh, and the NPCs do all of the resource gathering, uh, and you tell them where to go and, and, uh, and provide their equipment and so on and so forth. Uh, in addition to physical resources, um, data will be a resource, so you'll collect data on various kinds of uh, um, 
things that happen and things you know ways to improve stuff uh, and that will allow you to build higher technology levels I jumped around too much alright that's it